Greetings Multi-Touch fans, and welcome to a video that will hopefully teach you a little bit about iOS 4.2 Goldmaster. There's not a ton of changes in this release as compared to, say, iOS 4, but the changes that are, that are made are worthwhile and fairly useful too in most cases. So we'll take we'll start by taking a look at one little change in the multitasking bar. You still have your ability to switch apps, and so forth, and then your music controls, and it shows you which app is playing music. Orientation lock, pretty straightforward. But then you also have a music slider, a volume slider, sorry, that will allow you to adjust the volume just by swiping from the starting screen to left two times. Not totally sure why Apple has thrown this in here, maybe just to make it more like the iPad version, I'm not sure, considering that the only iOS device that doesn't have a volume rocker on the side is the iPod Touch first generation, which didn't even make it to iOS 4, much less iOS 4.2. Next up, we have some changes in Safari that, while not earth-shattering, are pretty welcome, I have to say. And they definitely bring it up to the feature parity with the, its counterparts on Android and so forth. First off, we have this change right here. This button used to be an addition sign to add bookmarks and so forth and add to a bookmark to your home screen. Now it, it still does those actions, but it also will allow you to print whatever web page you're on which is really one of the biggest features in iOS 4.2. From this screen, it looks fairly simple. All you have to do is select a printer. Sadly, I have not configured my printer yet, so it will not show up, but I, if you are on Mac OS 10, 10.6.6, .6, I believe, which is only in beta at this time, or have a certain HP printer, or your printer is shared on a Wi-Fi network, then you will be able to print straight from the get-go. Otherwise, you're going to have to do some tweaking on Windows. Mac, you should be good to go, and as always, Mac. You can also add however many copies you want of the page to be printed, and then obviously tap print, and it'll work. Hopefully. Next up, we have some... Oh yeah, we have one little change in Safari that I personally have got to admit that I like. First off, you have this, you still get all of your Google suggestions just like normal, but if you scroll down, you will also see that there is an option to find on this page. So tapping that, it'll bring you, it'll highlight all of the words, whatever words you entered into the search bar. Tap next, and it works great. Um, definitely a smoother, more elegant implementation than Android. But I don't know. Search on page is search on page. It works good. Good on Apple for finally adding that. Next up, we have a really small update to the Notes app. The Notes app is still pretty bare bones and could really use an overhaul at this point, not changing really, I don't believe any, since the first release of iOS, when it was still called iPhone OS with the iPhone 2G, but we'll live with this I guess for a little bit longer. You can now change fonts, which is, you know, nice, but not that great, and there you saw it change fonts. It changes pretty quick. You can't set it to have one font for one note and then go back and add another note and then change the font they all have to say stay the same font so still very bare bones and kind of just lacking I still find Evernote to be a much much better app for note taking next up we have AirPlay which is something that I'm sure a lot of iOS users have really been looking forward to, um, especially if they own an Apple TV or Airport Express, though um, more products will hopefully take advantage of AirPlay in the future, such as wireless docks and so forth. AirPlay is audio only at this time, and 
I don't have an Apple TV or an Airport Express, so I can't demo it, but it's been confirmed by multiple people who I trust on Twitter and otherwise that it is audio only, so if, I mean, that's a little bit of a bummer, but Apple has said nothing to suggest that it's been canceled or anything of that sort, so I guess we'll just have to wait a little bit longer for AirPlay's video support. Audio works well, so there's, you know, it's a little bit of a letdown, but hey, what are you going to do about it? It's Apple. AirPlay and AirPrint, that's the, what the printing is called in Safari, are not very useful right now, but I expect there will be plenty of updates come the day of release of iOS 4.2 that enable AirPlay and AirPrint, AirPrint sorry, support on multiple apps, and I believe that that will just make iOS a much more viable platform for, in a lot of regards, I mean it's already a great platform for gaming, but I think it'll help with the, you know, media aspect of it, throwing the media aspect into a much more successful branch. Other than that, iOS 4.2 is a very iterative update, it really just brings the iPad up to feature parity software-wise with the iPhone and iPod Touch running iOS 4. It, the iPad will gain multitasking and everything else that we've talked about here today, as well as folders and really everything that the iPhone and iPod Touch gained in iOS 4. That's the video, folks. Thanks for watching. See y'all later.